This is Mr. William Doherty at a Jersey City, New Jersey City Council meeting that took place on Wednesday, February, February 27, 2013. Mr. Doherty has to go to court the next day on Thursday, February 28, 2013. He's pressing criminal charges against a member of his landlord's management team, a woman by the name of Lisa Carney, for harassing him at a pre-Thanksgiving event that was held a few days before Thanksgiving Day in 2012. My name is Lydia Radin. I'm the woman making the voiceover, um, and making this voiceover. And I was with Mr. William Doherty at this pre-Thanksgiving event. I believe that Thanksgiving Day in 2012 fell on a Thursday, the 22nd, November 22nd, 2012. And as I recall, the pre-Thanksgiving event was held a few days before. I believe it was on a Tuesday, November 20th, 2012. The salient point is, um, during this pre-Thanksgiving event that was held at the Grand View, which is Mr. Doherty's apartment complex located at 3060 Kennedy Boulevard in Jersey City, New Jersey, um, we were at a pre-Thanksgiving event, as I said, um, in 2012. It was held on the 16th floor, which is a meeting space that's provided to the tenants to have meetings and uh, other public events. This was an open public event. Mr. Doherty was invited as a tenant of the Grandview, and I was invited as his guest. So we're at this event from uh, on Tuesday, November 20th, 2012. Uh, from about 1.30 in the afternoon for about an hour and a half or so, City Councilwoman Nidia Lopez was there. During the, um, during the event, we had talked to the other tenants. We talked about tenant issues. Food was served. We spoke to City Councilwoman Nidia Lopez about a number of issues. Um, after she left the event, uh, a member of the management team, the landlord's management team, named Ann Richardson, went and got Lisa Carney. And Lisa Carney had come into the meeting space um, on the 16th floor, uh, harassed us, threatened us with uh, the crime of false arrest. She threatened to have us arrested for no reason. Uh, we had done nothing other than um, as, uh, as soon as Nidia Lopez, City Councilwoman Nidia Lopez, had left the event, we were making pre uh, preparations to leave. And as we were preparing to leave uh, the meeting space, other tenants had stopped us and asked us about a new law that we're trying to get passed. This would be a Senate Bill S-2018 that would allow tenants the right to recover their attorney's fees in successful defenses or actions against their landlord. So the other tenants at the Grandview had stopped us and asked us some questions about tenants' rights. We were ask, answering those questions, and out and for no no reason, Lisa Corney came into the meeting space, started yelling at us, threatened us with arrest, uh, demanded that we leave her 16th floor. Uh, frankly, we were shocked. We were dumbfounded. We left. Uh, the other tenants were so taken aback that they told us that maybe Lisa Corney could threaten and harass us um, on the 16th floor in the meeting space, but she certainly couldn't threaten and harass us if they invite us if they had if they invited us into their apartments into their homes. So another tenant of the Grandview invited us into his apartment. Um, and we, you know, continued to have a impromptu uh, brief meeting about tenants' rights issues. And after a short period of time, I left the building uh, without incident. Now, at the city council meeting that's taking place on Wednesday, February 27, 2013, Mr. William Doherty is confronting city councilwoman Nidia Lopez, and he's asking her, why can't you come to court on Thursday, uh, February 28, 2013, and tell the truth. And the truth is, during the time that you were at this event, um, before Thanksgiving Day in 2012, um, I had done nothing wrong. In other words, um, I was harassed illegally by Lisa Corney, and I had done nothing wrong. 
So he's he's confronting City Councilwoman Nidia Lopez, and she's backpedaling. She's making up stories. She's misconstruing. She's she's twisting things. She uh, she's misconstruing. She's changing her story. She's doing everything she possibly can not to tell the truth until finally, and you'll hear this on this videotape, Mr. William Doherty says outright, "Did I do anything wrong when you were there?" And City Councilwoman Nidia Lopez responds, no, absolutely not. And Mr. Doherty says, thank you. That's all I wanted you to say. So Mr. Uh, City Councilwoman Nidia Lopez is a key witness for Mr. Doherty. And it's her testimony that can be corroborated with videotapes. Uh, the Grand View, Mr. Doherty's building, has video cameras in the entranceway. It has video cameras in each hallway, and it has a video camera um, on the 16th floor. So my testimony, Mr. William Doherty's testimony, and City Councilwoman Nidia Lopez's testimony can be co corroborated with videotaped evidence and the evidence of other um, and the testimony of other witnesses who were there. But the bottom line is, during the period of time from about 1:30 in the afternoon till about 2.33 o'clock in the afternoon when City Councilwoman, Jersey City Councilwoman Nidia Lopez was at this pre-Thanksgiving uh, day event at the Grand View. She was there witnessing that Mr. William Doherty and I, Lydia Radin, did nothing wrong and we should not have been harassed illegally by Lisa Carney, a member of the landlord's man management team, for simply responding to questions from the other tenants about tenants' rights issues in general and their questions in specific about us trying to get a new law passed. So Mr. William Doherty is confronting City Councilwoman Nidia Lopez at this Jersey City Council meeting that took place on Wednesday, February 27th, uh, 2013, and he's asking her, why can't you tell the truth? Why can't you just make a plain statement of the truth? Why can't you provide me with an affidavit? Why can't you come to court without me forcing you to come into court with a subpoena and simply tell the truth? Did I do anything wrong when you were there? And she says, absolutely not. So she's on the record at the Jersey City Council meeting confirming that Mr. William Doherty did nothing wrong and I, Lydia Radin, did nothing wrong during this pre-Thanksgiving event. And we were illegally harassed by Lisa Carney. And that's what you'll be listening to. Did I do anything wrong when you were there? No, I was looking at you. 